How much you have learned in this? It's almost a week we tried Friday, right? How long this course was about? Two weeks. So one week is gone, this is last week, right? Yes, sir. So what do you think you have learned? No, who wants it? There's nobody to accept this surrender. You think people are, people have very most bullshit idea on the planet that you surrender and somebody's going to accept it. Forget it. Nobody wants it. You do not understand life. Life is not what you want. Life is where it can be accepted. You don't know the beauty of life. That's the tragedy. You are coming here to be teachers. You should understand something, life. Life is not what you think. Life is not in surrender. Life is not in revolt. Not, life is not in disobedience. Life is not in obedience. Life is a life which must be accepted, must be lived, must be recognized, must be organized. And it's a mutual. It's mutual in the essence. If there's a truth, it will be universally and mutual to all. If it's a ego, it'll be mutual only to few. If it's a neurosis, then it'll be only you. There are three stages. You know, when I came here, I had $35. I still have $35. And I still have nothing, and I still have everything. It's just a question. It's a faculty of life. Nobody made me Sri Singh Sahib. Nobody made me Yogi Bhajan. Nobody made me teacher. Your life has to accept you, and your acceptance has to be put out, projected out, so everybody else can accept. You are willing to go out and project out, but if somebody doesn't accept what you're going to do? What do you think? See? Depend. The idea in this life is not to depend, never to depend. That's what I wanted you to say. It depends. We fluctuate. We are never exact. We don't know. There's no something we don't know. I'm going to take an example. I came from India. I was an officer. I used to wear uniform. I have five-pointed star on my shoulder. You know what I mean? One or two, left and right, and did with the word. And only I taught yoga to the embassies and ambassadors and all that kind of thing. And uh, I used to take one class, and there was a Vishwajyata Yoga Ashram, which was one of the finest. And I used to direct that what to do, what not to do. But all of a sudden, from a most uniformed officer, I became a yogi. Never knew anybody, never made all the arrangements, everything failed. But I didn't say, I don't know. You know what I said? One day the day shall come when all the... It, it, it was those painful circumstances, painful, most painful, most treacherous, most trouble circumstances. When you tell me you love me, I know you don't know what love is. Love is an infinite sustenance. Love is not a relationship which can be waver or challenge or inferior or superior. There's no such thing. Love is forever. Love is a power. Love is not something... The love of the mission which carried me through, I understand that. You are gringos. You are Western. You do not know the dedication of love. How do you love? You are, oh, yeah, you are love makers. That's fine. That's okay. But what I'm saying, what we are creating here is the 
for the age of Aquarius, we are not teaching here for the Piscean age. You all have to die one way or the other. There's, you can't survive in the last 21 years. Out. That's the Caspier. There will be distant, different diseases, virus diseases, uh, computer virus diseases. This is, no, 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 the whole thing is going to change. You can't tell. But what are you going to do? Maybe. What's maybe in life? You must have a command of intuitive self to know exactly what you are and you must fit in with everybody. That is your surrender to bring mutuality to any non-reality. Reality lies and truth without judgment. You think, can you understand my position? I can see, all I see is aura, right? Aura never lies. I can read aura like as you can read, and Braille, the blind can read. I can read it, okay, fine. Person sits in my presence, he lies or she lies, and I say, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You know, what a lie I'm telling. Why don't I get up and slap across the face, take all the 32 teeth and put it in the hand? So get out, you liar. Shouldn't do that? No. Life is mutual. I started doing a one foolish thing in the world. I started reading people's questions, reading people's minds. I scared everybody. I stopped. I said, never again. If people know you know everything, or you know too much, or you are... Even people think that you have to direct a person. They hate you. Nobody wants to know. Nobody wants to be directed. Nobody wants to deal. Because I know you, and I know myself. Because when my teacher said, you are a master, I accepted it. You all want to be masters, forget it. Surrender to be being master within yourself, opportunity will come. Reality will be at your door. But you can play the way you play. One day you are right, next day you are medium, third day you are wrong, fourth day you are right again. You are not willing to change. You are not willing to change. How can you change anybody? And the first job of a teacher is to change. You don't want to change, how you can change others? You don't want to obey, how people should obey you? You want to not excel, how can other people excel with you? Your PR is wrong. Teacher is not a human. Human is not a teacher, it's a vehicle, it's a, it's a media. Man is a media like money. Money is a media. It does what you make it to do. So human is a media to the teacher. Human is not a teacher. Please don't misunderstand that. When a human is a teacher, then we have problems, then a human problems. First faculty of a teacher is the first must identify to oneself one is a teacher, and then identify to the whole world that one is a teacher, and third one should know there's nothing else but a teacher. Those three things are essential. Let yourself know once forever that you are a teacher. Let whole world know once forever you are a teacher. And? No, there is nothing else but a No, there is nothing else but a teacher. Less than this, you are phony, you are ruthlessly liar, you are good for nothing, you are fake, and you have no damn reality whatsoever. I don't want to be more abusive than this, but if you can add some, it's fine. (laughs) 
This is simply the same term. A woman cannot reflect the man. She is not a woman for that man. Period. One, two, three. There is no third discussion. If a man cannot grow and glow, he is not a man. And what is that living in mess? It's nothing. There is no depth. No roots, no depth. Where the nursing will come? You see people, normally one day, I don't go anymore. Uh, word, this, this happen here every time that uh, is where everybody comes and participates and joins. And is a kind of exhibition where you show your products and what do you call it? Huh? Exhibition where they give yogis and swamis, all teachers come to speak. No, anywhere. There's one well, time it happened, sent away somebody, LA. Huh? Whole? Whole Life Expo. It's a very good business. And one day I just was given a pamphlet of it. And there were hundreds and hundreds of therapies and hundreds and hundreds of ideas and hundreds and hundreds of teachers. I mean, they almost bifurcated every uh, fiber of human and humanology. And I laughed. We were the only one who attained. There will be a class start in humanology by Yogi Bhajan. That's all. There were three lines. We are humans without humanology. You have a life. How are you going to fit in? How are you going to come out of your shell? How are you going to come out of your cocoon? How are you going to deal with everybody with, with openness of self? How you can open so much that you can embrace everything? How can also you can close yourself that you can be? Hmm? Practice. Yeah, discipline and practice is fine, but how are you going to do it fast? If you are a teacher, you must be aware. If you want, take this granted, if you want everybody fault to be cured, don't be at fault yourself. And doesn't matter how much you hide and how much you, you know, whatever you say, it will show up in the projection of your energy. You know what makes you corrupt? What makes you corrupt is the weakness of your habit, weakness of your discipline, weakness of your courage, weakness of your strength. There are so many things. And nobody wants to be corrupt. Once I interviewed everybody who was a criminally sentenced to death, I said, let me see what do they say. Not a one person admitted that they have committed crime. They all have perfect story. Simply they said they have not been heard and they have been punished. So you have stories. But learn one story. Excuse is a personal abuse. Excuse? It's a self-abuse. It doesn't make sense. Somebody once said, I love God, I love God, I love God. And God appeared and said, Oh yes, I love you too. Oh my God, I love you, God loves you. The matter settled. Six months later, God said, six months have gone, you never called on me. I love no Shiva, I love no Shiva, I love no Shiva. I said, oh, well, okay. So God went and took Shiva and bent his butts and kicked him in the ass and said, come on with me. So brought him there, holding him from here and threw him on, on at her feet. He said, you love this idiot? 
Oh, my Lord Shiva. Oh, my God, I actually love you. He said, I don't know, you're confused. God disappeared and so Shiva. The oneness of a person or a teacher or a human is tested by the one God, doesn't matter who you are. And when you cannot maintain the standard of your oneness, you shall never find the one which is ultimately the one. Those who try to swim in two boats are told at the... What do you call this area? Crotch or something? Have you heard? Have you heard that song? Have you heard that slang? Those who swim in two boats are torn at the crotch. Very simple word. And these are those who are maybe and may not be. But think of split personality. Those who swim in nine boats, what will happen? <laughs> Fifteen boats. It looks good to spread out, but it not come out right. Your life has an authentic personality, one authentic personality. You have one authentic projection. You have one pure Self. Do not allow it to be polluted by Maya. You will lose. You will lose. What is the idea to lose the One who is in all and to get the One who is just One here and now and lose the One who is here now and ever? Idealistically speaking, if you understand in a neurological self, it is going in a love boat and luxury liner or taking your little boat and pedaling it. But it's a lot of satisfaction. Life which is run by your neuroses shall always end up in the middle of the shark densified ocean. You won't land on the other side of the port of entry. That's why, you know, how many people, five and a half billion people live on this, on this earth. You can count on fingers people who are internationally known, are internationally known by their spirit. You may have people internationally known by office, status. President of America is known internationally because of the office. Not Clinton, nobody knows. Nothing. Nobody know. Clinton became president to be known. It's not that Clinton was internationally known. But the Dalai Lama is internationally known. Pope Paul John II, whatever is, internationally known. Yogi Bhan is internationally known. And they are known as they are. Good and bad, right and wrong, up and down, whatever you call it, but still they are known. It is called the essence of the psyche, prevails with all psyche there is. And that has to be on the level of a teacher who says what is right not what is pleasing, wanting, or needing. Those three things you must avoid. Don't speak what is pleasing, wanting, or needing. You will never realize the truth. Speak what is what it is.
And please avoid in your life maybes, I don't know, perhaps, you know, you all these. Uh, there's no affirmation in your life. Life is affirmation. And once life is affirmation, then you speak in affirmation. And, uh, I was uh, counseling a very teenage girl, she was beautiful, and I said, why don't you do something like this and come out of the, this duality and then I'll work out with you. She said, no, 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 I have to do this. I have to. How much you can discuss, let it go. Was there. Because Maya creates the passion in a woman and a man. You know, I was telling you, life is 18 years. After 18 years, you just want to be united. Either you can be united, your spirit, your soul, your discipline, your higher self, or you can just be choosing a physical partner. A physical partner is earth, it's not heavens. And then one thing leads to the other. All these girls who are going to be married never talk to somebody who's divorced and ask why. They don't even feel their passion. That's what I saw when I came in America. Everybody was on drugs. Everybody. I mean, you Indians stopped sending smoke signals. Humans were all living smoke signals. There was no party without drug, drugs, puffs, and whatever you call it. And some people were pushing it. They were selling the paraphernalia for it and everything. And it made it easy. Everybody sleep with everybody. I'll do sex everybody. I'll do everything. There was nothing. Nothing. And when I came and started saying, drugs are drugs, there's a natural way to be high, stop this, this is going to kill us. A lot of people did not listen. But finally they did. Finally they did. Now I am saying there's no religion without reality. Many people don't listen. When I say there's no religion without reality and royalty, people don't listen. Well, they don't. But they will. Teacher is a holy woman with a grace as an aspect and excellence as projection. And I hope, against hope, by tonight you must have decided that you want to be teacher and nothing else. And then you can take an affirmation and an oath tomorrow as a ceremony. And that is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm a teacher. That's the purpose of this course. Then we'll see how many of you live. There's a catch-22. One who's a teacher will never go hungry, will never go without this. Well, prosperity serves maya, prakriti serves the teacher, there's a law. And everybody else with everything is hustler. There are two ways to live. Either you be here, everything comes to you, or you go.